Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leah. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the chorus of Easy by La Seraphim. I'm going to be giving this dance a difficulty score of 8 out of 10 high intermediate. This video is going to be an explanation only video and if you would like to practice with the music, I will leave my slow music practice tutorial linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you would like to practice with a video where the explanation and the music is in one tutorial video for you, that is over on my Patreon page. Thank you so much to my new patrons that have joined me this month in February. Thank you guys so much for your support over on that platform and if you're interested in joining me all the links are in the description. Okay remember if I'm speaking too fast or too slow for you feel free to change the speed of the video in the YouTube settings. Okay let's get started. This is lesson one. This is going to be the chorus part one. Keep in mind for both lessons, I'm following tier one. We're going to start on five, six, seven, eight. So you kind of want to walk into your place, have your feet apart and lean on your left hip. You want to get two hands over your chest and you're going to flick, flick them down. And you kind of do like a nod as you do that. So this will be on five, six. Then our hands are going to go seven, eight. They're overlapping in front of each other. Don't worry about if it's left or right in front. Whatever is natural to you first, put that hand in front and you're going to twist, twist in front of each other. As we do this move here, we're going to step back on our right foot. Seven on the first one. Now step again on the left foot. Eight and raise your right knee. So your knees are going left knee up, then right knee up on seven, eight. So from the beginning, from here, this goes five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a preview of the first eight counts of this chorus part. So we've just finished here. This is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna go a lot slower than that. So what we're gonna do is we've just finished here. You're gonna put your left hand grabbing onto your trousers on the left side, right hand just down behind you. You're gonna step forward, right foot, then left foot. Now as you can see as I'm doing that with my feet, before I step, bring you my knee before I step. Okay, so from here, this will go two, three, four. Okay, so your left foot should be forward now. Next, we're gonna do this move again with our hands overlapping two times. As we do that, we're gonna jump backwards on our right foot, then our left foot. So you're stepping backwards, right, left. That's on the end of four. This will go five, six. Okay, just before we continue, guys, we're gonna go from the very beginning from here and do a quick recap. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now on seven, eight, we're gonna go Seven, so from here we've finished on our left foot. We're gonna jump with our feet apart here. Throw our hands behind us, squat your knees, facing the right, looking down on the right. Seven, then on eight, eight. You're gonna jump up on your left foot, get this right hand, swoop this around your head. Left hand grabs onto your trousers. We're gonna go from the first eight counts from here. From here, this will go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Up on your left foot, sweeping this right hand around. Okay guys, so those are the first eight counts of this lesson. Let's go from the very beginning and recap with the counts. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, guys, from here, the next eight counts will go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've just finished here. We're going to keep our left hand where it is on our trousers, cross over with your right foot, and you're going to loosely point over to the right side as we cross our right foot over like this. So our hands are like loosely open, our fingers are open like that, over to the right side. Then we're gonna get our left foot in the back and cross this over. Now as we do that, we're gonna slightly readjust our arm. So our arm was here, and then we're just gonna point it up again, but a little bit more forward. So first it was to the side, then a little bit more forward, this way. And again, that's on your right foot first, 
then your left foot crosses over. From the end of here with counts, this will go one, two, three, four. Now from here, we're gonna go five, like that. So from here, slide backwards with your left foot, get both hands, flat hands to your chest, and push backwards as you slide that left foot backwards. So from here on four, this will go five. Now on six, six. You wanna grab your hands onto your trousers. As we do that, we're gonna jump onto our right foot and bring the left knee up like that as we grab onto our trousers. So from here with the pointing move, this goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Now on seven, eight, we're gonna go seven, eight. So you're simply going to stomp this left foot down two times as we slightly turn around this way with a slight tilt to the left. So once again, guys, we're gonna go all the way from the beginning from here and do a recap before we finish this part off. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the next eight counts from here will go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, so we've just finished stamping our foot twice. We're gonna jump in our place with our feet together. We're gonna put our hands to our chest and push them outwards. Now, as our feet are together, we have a slight tilt to the left. So you pat first as you jump in your place. Then you're gonna swoop this out to the bottom right and kind of sit down on your bottom right side. So after the stamp here, this will go one, two. Now we're gonna do the other side. Three, so we're jumping with our feet in place, facing the right side slightly, tilt, hands to your chest, and push outwards to the bottom left. So again, after the stamp, seven, eight, this will go one, two, three, four. Next, we're gonna go five, six. Okay, so from the end of here, you're going to grab your fists like this over to this side, to the right side. As we do that, we're stepping over to the right, with our legs apart. So you have your left fist grabbed over here at the top, right fist in the back. Next, we're gonna swoop this right shoulder down as we bend our knees. Again, from the end of the stamp, this goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Now on seven, eight, we're gonna go seven. So from here, bring in your right foot, put your hands on your hips with your fists, look up to the left side, seven, Eight, bring yourself up again with your hands on your hips, with your fists. So once again, from the end of the stamp, this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once again, so you don't forget, because there's a lot of moves here, let's go all the way from the very beginning, from here, so you guys don't forget, and we're gonna add that in before we finish this part off. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. All right, we've just finished here. You're going to get your left heel and tap it on the floor over here. As we do that, we're gonna get our right fist alone and we're gonna push this forward. So we're pushing our right fist forward to the left side as we step on our left heel. Now, as I'm doing that, my body is sort of rolling forward, rolling forward. Then I'm gonna put my fist out to either side like this and bend my knees. So I'm bending my knees slightly to the right side, head tilts to the left, hands go out in fists. Again, from the end of here, one, two, three, four. Now on four, jump with your feet together and put your hands flat open on either side of your head. So once again, from here, one, two, 
three, four. Next, we're going to go five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so from here, put your hands down on either side of your body, like a wave downwards. We're going to go back on our right leg and we're going to lift our left knee up. Lift your left knee, then we're going to do a body wave to the other side. Lift your right knee, body wave again, lift your left knee, body wave again, lift your right knee. So it's simply left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee. And keep in mind that you are body rolling backwards like this as you lift each knee. Okay, so once again from here, this will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that is the end of lesson one, the first part of the chorus. Just before we do a recap of the whole part that we've learned so far, let's go from the midpoint. So let's just go from after this stamping here and we do this move like that. So after the stamp, seven, eight, this will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And that is the end of that part for us, guys. We're going to go from the very beginning now from here, da, da, here, here, jump, jump, da, da. We're going to do that with the counts before we continue over to the second half. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. This is lesson two, and this is part two of the chorus. So we've just finished on five, six, seven, eight. This next part will go like this. This is a preview of the next eight counts. This will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the first eight counts. What we're doing is we just finished here. As I said before, your right foot's in the air. On one, you're going to stamp with your right foot on the floor, get your left fist and push this down. Okay, curve it downwards like that. Then we're going to get both our fists and open them outwards to the right side, slightly leaning to the right side and opening out our knees. So this will go again, one, two, three, four. Next, we're gonna do the other side, get this right fist and curve this inwards to our chest. Here, five, six, then on seven, do the same thing. Seven, push your fist out, leaning to the left side with your knees apart. So again, from the end of this move, this will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now quickly on eight, we're gonna go eight. So we're getting the left fist alone, curving it inwards and down after here. And we're just stepping with our right foot out to the right side to swoop ourselves around. So you're curling this inwards and swooping your body around back to the left. One more time from the beginning, from the end of here, this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now from here, the next eight counts will go like this. So this is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've just gone here, eight, swooping around with our left hand and our right foot, eight. Now we're gonna jump with our feet in place like that with a tilt to the left. And as we do that on one, we're gonna get both fists curl them in towards our chest and down as we do that little jump. So again, eight, one, two. Next, we're gonna go three, four. So from this little jump, step forward with your left foot, okay? And you're going to position your hands like this, like over to the right side. They're just relaxed. 
Do whatever feels natural to step on your left foot because essentially you're going to slap your hands onto your belt area, stepping back with your right foot and with your knee in and again hands on your belt area. So once again with counts from the end of here, eight, one, two, three on your left foot, four, step backwards, hold this pose, your right knee is pointing inwards and you're leaning backwards, hands on your trousers. So once again, let's do a recap from the beginning, from here, with the counts, before we continue this part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So you're holding here for four, five, so you hold here till five, then we're going to go six, seven, eight. So what from here, what you're doing is you're bopping your butt backwards and sitting, sort of sitting in your place three times. So again, you're bopping your butt backwards, like six, seven, eight. And as you're doing that, you're going around from right to the middle. So after this move here on eight, eight, one, two, three, four. Then you hold it for five, six, seven, eight. Okay, once again, guys, let's go from the beginning with counts from here before we continue over to the next part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, guys, final part. The next eight counts will go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that was technically 16 counts. That was two sets of eight counts. And that's the last thing that we're gonna do. So we've just finished on the bopping move here. Six, seven, eight. Keep your left hand grabbing onto your trousers. Right hand relaxes. We're gonna swoop our knees to the right side up here, bending your knees. Swoop on your right leg, then down on your left side and squat your knees lower. So we're just swooping from either side with our knees. Swoop to the right, then to the left bottom. Okay, bottom left. And then we're gonna come up again on our right side. As we do that, we're gonna get our right hand and shake, shake this two times as we swoop back up to the right. So with counts, after this move here, this will go one, two, three, four, five, six, then on seven, seven. You're going to throw this hand behind you and again go down on the bottom left and you're going to look away as well. Seven. So again, after the bopping move, six, seven, eight, this will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, we're going to quickly go eight, one, two. So we're going quickly eight to the right side, right, left again on one, one, two, one more time to the right side, three, four, swooping this way, three, four, bringing your left foot, five, now on six, seven, eight, jump with your left foot in front, crossing over. As we do that, hands, we're gonna push our fists out, circle them down and do a twist in our place. So again, your left leg, it's crossing over as your fists go out and just circle them down. You twist this way to the right, all the way around in your place. So once again, from after the bopping move here, and we do this swooping move, this will go to the right side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, look away. Eight, quickly to the right side. One, two to the left, and again to the right. Three, four, Next, we're gonna go five, bring in your left foot, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. So one more time, a little bit faster from the end of here, five, six, seven, eight. This will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. All right, guys, that is the end of this lesson and this tutorial. So we're going to go from the very beginning now from here of this part of this lesson 
okay? And if you would like to do part one and part two together, please make sure to go over to my slow music practice tutorial so you can do those parts together with the music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Well done if you made it through the whole thing. It is a tiring routine, so make sure to cool down and stretch with me. I will leave my cool down stretching video on the screen right now in the card. If you would like to learn a different Le Seraphim dance, I will leave my tutorial for Perfect Night on the screen. That was the last song I taught. And if you would like to learn a different dance of similar difficulty level, I will leave my high intermediate level playlist in the top right hand corner of the screen as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.